Hello and welcome to New Union Junction. This is Divya Singh Sharma. We are with one of the primary cast of Kashmir Files, Darshan Kumar ji, and his character in the trailer is very interesting. It goes through the journey. Let's hear it from him. What he has to say about it. Hello, everyone. Yeah, I'm playing Krishna Pandit, a college student who is inclined into politics. He's a lonely wolf who is seeking truth, a guy filled with complex thoughts because of the. different different kind of narratives he is receiving from his family and from his professor uh, anupam sir is playing my grandfather he is victim of the 1990 that incident happened horrible incident happened in kashmir and um, my professor radhika ma'am uh, played by veteran uh, pallavi ma'am so she has a different kind of narrative so he is confused what is the truth so in between that uh, he do himself is a kashmiri pandit but he believes that pandit community has very convoluted stand on kashmir uh, while his take is very simple say sorry to each other and move on but when he meets long lost friend of his grandfather then the reality of kashmir starts dawning on him so that's my character so your character goes through this catharsis of emotions and journey right yes. acha you said ki he the youth that you are playing the, uh, is always confused because of the mixed narratives yeah. do you think the same thing is happening with today's youth they are getting mixed narratives and they don't know what the truth is yeah i'm representing today's youth hmm. that's what happening it's whatever we are showing in the film it's in it's in public domain uh, so that's why this film is uh, made uh, with the you know uh, with you can say we have put our heart and soul in this film so we did not act in this we try to live the character so that's what we are presenting in the film yeah so uh, we our channel is the youth channel new india junction uh -huh. any message to the youth specifically when it comes to the kashmir files actually as i said uh, we all are so confused uh, because of uh, different different kind of narratives we are getting and uh, we think 10 times before taking before coming on any conclusion or but uh, i i feel in that way like we never that truth never comes in front of us it's always hidden so i i i urge all the youth please use your mind think 10 times before coming on any conclusion and uh, use your so so that's very important because uh, uh, because of this world is uh, yeah I I don't want to use those word but yeah this you word you can yeah. we believe in true freedom yeah, of speech yeah 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 so so I believe that uh, we have to use our mind and uh, just watch this film and you'll get the exact uh, what is happening around us because this is today's film this whatever we have showed in the film it is happening right now also so it will force you to think 10 times before taking any uh, decision yeah were you a uh, skeptical before saying yes for this movie were you worried about what the industry might think of it or how they will look look at it hmm. or maybe future projects or prospects you think you were worried about it not at all because if you see my track record i have done uh, a film called uh, sarabjit where i played a pakistani lawyer who put his and his family's life uh, in danger to save an innocent indian and uh, he had to shift to scotland so and if you see i did uh, ashram web series mm. where we showed the real face of con men so yeah before releasing that series also people were saying no this is against all babas but after watching those people only uh, you know posted and uh, say thanks to us like thanks for showing the real face of a con man so yeah so i believe in that right now people are thinking this uh, this is against some community or party no no not at all this is based on true event which happened in 1990 and i remember my first meeting with pallavi ma'am when she showed me the real uh, the, the the videos of a real victims it shook me inside out after watching those videos i couldn't utter a word and uh, then later uh, during the meeting with vivek sir he gave me the script of the film and trust me while reading the script i could feel and imagine the same pain which i had seen on those videos because vivek sir depicted all those incidents so aptly in in screenplay and dialogues that i was spellbounded and that's what we, the audience going to uh, watch they are going to watch a brutally honest film so i think when you are doing this kind of film kai dar hona nahi chahiye yeah 
speaking to you i feel like i can also feel what you went through seeing those yeah. videos even though we haven't seen all those videos i feel when we see you portray those ca that character we are going to go through the same emotions that you went through we wish you good luck for 11th of march and i hope the new india goes to the theaters and lines up and makes this a hit because such movies need yeah. an audience yeah because this film is a brutally honest film and it meant for today's audience who wants to watch content oriented real realistic cinema so since it's based on a true story it is a edge of your seat thriller and with a great message so please watch this film on 11th of march and i'm sure you're going to like it thank you thank, thank you so much, much.